morning royalists must now face three different queues before they can pay their respects to the late Queen. By 9 a.m. this morning, the first queue on embankment up to Lambeth Bridge had been closed off and a second queue was beginning to form. By 12.30 p.m., a third queue had formed for mourners attempting to reach the second queue. There are reportedly around 2,000 people in the first queue and hundreds, if not thousands, more in the second two queues. The public will be able to view the Queen's coffin from 5 p.m., after a procession led by the King takes it from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall. Volunteers managing the queues have told Express.co.uk they expect a surge of mourners when the procession ends. Police have told Express.co.uk that Green Park and Hyde Park, where mourners can view this afternoon's procession on screens, are now full and mourners have been told to steer clear of the area. Jim Flynn, 54, hopes to pay his respects to the Queen lying in state by around 6 p.m. tonight after joining the line at 9.30 a.m. Mr. Flynn explained that he felt it was important for him to pay his respect because he had served in the army for 22 years and had made an oath to her during that time. He told Express.co.uk, further to that, I was a Boy Scout as a child and I made an oath to the Queen then as well. And later when I was a teenager, I joined the Army Cadets and I made another oath to the Queen, so I've been making oaths to the Queen since I was about 8 years old. Read more on our Royal Live blog, Meghan Markle's outfit causes stir as insane Mike Theory slapped down morning royalists now face three excruciating cues to see Queen's coffin in London, Image, Express, Getty. Mourner Lucy delayed a trip to Chile to see the Queen's coffin, Image, Express, read more McDonald's to close all branches on Monday so I have been serving the Queen, both directly and indirectly, for most of my life. Asked how he felt to hear the news of her death on Thursday, he said, it was a big surprise because seeing the photographs from when Liz Truss was meeting the Queen you thought she looks in good health. There was a sparkle in her eyes and a smile on her face, and then two days later, it just came as a big shock. I think it has hit the country quite hard. Annie, 67, and her daughter Lucy Gallimore, 31, traveled from Kensington and Windsor respectively to honor the Queen today. They told Express.co.uk that they had a long tradition of attending lying-in states, including the Queen Mother and the Pope and had also attended the driving of Diana's coffin along the road route. Jim Flynn said he wants to pay his respects to the Queen as he served in the army for 22 years, Image, Express, Lucy delayed a trip to Chile in order to attend the lying in wait that could see members of the public queuing for more than 30 hours. Asked how long they were willing to wait, Annie replied, until we get through. I think we're in a good position. But to me the Queen is the personification of the three graces, faith, hope and charity. And that's why I am here today. She has touched our lives and now we are giving something back to her. The government estimates that there could end up being 10 miles of queues to see the Queen, whose coffin will be able to be viewed by the public until 6.30 a.m. on the day of her funeral, September 19. Don't miss! Queen's final flight to London becomes most tracked in history man, 38, charged for holding eggs near Queen's coffin fab for fears after William Olive Branch for Meghan and Harry mourners in the first and second queues have now been given wristbands, image, express, around 33,000 people paid their respects to the Queen when her coffin was lying in state at St. Gillis Cathedral in Edinburgh on Monday and Tuesday. On Wednesday afternoon, the Queen's coffin will be carried from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall. King Charles III will lead the procession and other senior royals such as Princes Harry and William will follow behind, 